opportunity in this election to set a vision for our state, to have something pretty exciting that we can count on, that we can see a future and a benefit to our country and to our state especially. We have a very rare candidate here. Um, the one thing he's got uh, a negative on there, that whole Stanford connection. Uh. We, uh, we play football tonight. I will be at the Rose Bowl when UCLA Beat Stanford for the first time in 10 years, okay? But that's a whole different story. Um, you all know his background. It's amazing. Uh, you know, his educational, his, uh, his uh, you know, bipartisanship and being appointed to uh, by President Obama and then working for uh, President W and then also for, uh, you know, being policy advisors for Mitt Romney. And something that I didn't know recently about uh, Senator uh, Tom Cotton, I didn't know he was a roommate yeah. in college. So that yeah. was kind of, I just found that out recently. Yeah but he's got the political background and he's got the smarts to be able to be the best controller in our state. This would be our best, uh, this would be um, uh, the first constitutional officer in the state of California for what, 20 years that we've had. So we have an excellent chance. And the reason why is because we have an excellent candidate. We have somebody that's promised to do the job, to look beyond other things on there and to do what's right for the people of the state of California. So. Um, we, we haven't had this opportunity, not in any of the other races, let alone, but to be our controller. And a controller, when you look at it, it's a pretty important position in the state. It has a lot of ability to make change and to at least make sure that our dollars are being accounted for. And we haven't had that. So with that, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, first time I've seen this venue in the city of Downey, and you know, I'm the former mayor here, and I uh, was here for eight years. And uh, uh, so thank you to our, our, our host for that. But um, with that, I want uh, Lon here to make sure that you guys get an opportunity to hear him. Please go out and tell the other people about him. Please make sure that that circle of influence that you tell <laughs> folks that this is an important position and we have the right man at this particular time to do this. So anyway, so God bless thank you. Let's you. give a big round thank of you. Have a nice one. Thank you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Thank you. Thank you. The, the first time that Mario and I sat down, he was talking about all of these wonderful things in Downey. And he is a constant booster for this wonderful city. Uh, I actually grew up not that far from here. I grew up in Roland Heights. And so to be here in Downey, to see how it's grown and developed and prospered uh, under Mario's leadership, also another former mayor, Kurt Cartosian, who's supporting uh, me. Uh, I've had an opportunity to see this part of Southern California and realize that there are a lot of wonderful things going on here. So congratulations. It's great to be here. Richard, what, where'd Richard go? What a wonderful space. Thank what you so much. a beautiful space. And you know what I love about this is that it's an idea, it's a passion, and you're pursuing it. You feel the call to bring people together, and it's a wonderful thing. People might say, hey, it's in the middle of a residential neighborhood. Where are we going? But this is a beautiful space. So thank, thank you, you so much. Us. Appreciate it. And, and I just want to say that, you know, this is going to be a really consequential and important election that we have coming up. Uh, a lot of people in this country, they're following stuff going on in you know, Georgia and Pennsylvania and all the rest. But I'm here to tell you, we got some really important work to do in California. This is a state that we love. And I know that a lot of people give California, give us a hard time for being here. And look, there's a lot of things we're doing wrong right now. And part of the reason I'm going to Sacramento is to fix those things. But I'll say this, California can do better and we will do better. We will do better under new leadership that cares about where our money goes. What does the controller do? I'm sure all of you did not wake up this morning thinking, oh, what is the controller doing today? The controller is like the chief financial officer of the state of California the person responsible for making sure that our tax dollars that we send to Sacramento are used as we're told they're being used. $300 billion a year the state uses in tax money. And it's the only state in the country where they can't tell us where that money goes. 
even in Illinois, you know, they got some former governors sitting in prison for fraud yeah. in yeah. Illinois. They have more transparency than we have in California. And my goal as controller is very simple. Let's give Californians a view into where their money is going. Let's let every Californian see, line item by line item, check by check, where that money goes. In your family budgets, you run a small business, you have a checkbook, right? You say, hey, I wrote a $50 check at Bonds, or I wrote a 20, people don't write checks anymore, I know that, but, but, but you keep track of it. You keep track of it, yeah. right? Yeah. The state, it's like, ah, we're gonna spend 20 billion here, 10 billion there, what's the difference? And nobody ever tells us where that money goes. I think that's unacceptable. Yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is control it. Let's make sure we get full transparency to every single dollar we spend so that we can figure out where that money is going. But we're gonna go one step further. Some of you know I've promised to do an audit every single day that I'm controlling. The controller is the only person in California who can go in and audit those expenses. Not just so we figure out where the money is going, but let me tell you the more important thing. Is the money making a difference? Right now, we look at all the problems we face as a state. We know it's not. Let me give you a few examples. Number one is homelessness. $12 billion we've spent over three years. You look across our cities in California. I was in Sacramento a few days ago. We in Fresno this week. The, the amount of money that's spent and the fact that you've got more and more people ending up on the streets, it's a human tragedy. I really believe that we're not gonna solve this problem until we figure out where the money is going, how effectively that money is being spent. That's one example. Let me give you another example. Our public schools. Our public schools. Hundreds of billions of dollars over several years. And you know what I know? Hispanic kids are getting left behind. African American kids are getting left behind. There's some Asian kids who are being left behind. That is unacceptable. In a state as, as plentiful and as rich and as vast as California, for our public schools to not be working the way they should be working, the controller can audit every single school district and make sure that that money that's supposed to be going to our teachers and our kids is getting there. Because right now, I don't think it is. So these are the kinds of things that controller can solve, the kinds of problems that controllers can solve. And that's why it's so important for us to care about this office. The, the toughest thing for me is I go around the state and people are like, controller, what, huh? Why, why should I care? Because you should care where your tax money goes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You should care if it's being spent the right way. And we can finally deliver that accountability and transparency for every dollar we spend. The question I always get asked, how are you gonna win? How are you gonna win? There's so many, uh, you're running as a Republican, how are you gonna win as a Republican in the state of California? Because let me tell you something, everybody's fed up. I don't care if they're Democrats or independents. I talk to lots of my Democrat friends, and you know they say to me, they're like, I don't know where the money goes, but I'll tell you the problems are getting worse. We spend more for gas in this state than any other state in the country. We pay the highest gas taxes. But you go and ask people in Sacramento where that gas tax money goes, they change the subject. Let's audit the gas tax. Let's figure out where that money goes. This is not a Republican issue. It's not a Republican issue. It's not a Democratic issue. It's an issue that should bring us all together. And I know that my campaign is getting support from Democrats and independents and Republicans. You know what? I'm not saying, hey, I'm going to go and be a Republican controller. I'm going to be the California controller. Yes. Right? People... People are, people are sick of the polarization. They just want people to get stuff done. All these people go up there and they only care about rubber stamping what the other people are doing. You guys know that every single newspaper in the state has endorsed me in this office? Every single one. Even the LA Times. I almost had a guy fall over in his chair the other day when I said the LA Times endorsed a Republican, but they did. Because you know what they said? We need a controller who is as independent from the party in power as possible. And that's what this is about. It's about creating independence, and that's why we're going to win on November the 8th. But we're not going to win unless we keep getting the word out. Mm -hmm. So each of you, if each of you goes and tells 10 people, think about the power of those 10 people. Tell another 10 people. Before you know it, you've told thousands of people about this campaign and about what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And I really believe we're going to do it. You know, our advertising is on TV. People always say the most memorable part about my advertising is my kids and my wife, and that's true. <laughs> you know, in a, in a use a football analogy, I weigh out kick my coverage when I when I married my beautiful wife and we have a wonderful family. And I gotta say that that's the thing. Let me just conclude by saying this: people are just trying to raise their families in the state. They're just trying to make it work. Sacramento shouldn't be making it harder, but right now they are. Every single step of the way, they seem to make it harder. People are leaving our state. When I was growing up in Roland Heights, people were coming change that. We can change that with one election 
and begin to shift the tide back towards taxpayers. If people say to you, hey, you went to that event for that Lon He Chen guy, what did you learn about the controller's office? Let me leave you with one thought. We need a watchdog as controller, not a lapdog. Yes. Watchdog, not lapdog. For too long, for too long, we've had lapdogs walking around, rubber stamping what everyone else is doing. It's over. When I take office, that's over. We're going to ask tough questions, we're going to demand answers, and we're going to get results. So thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So with that, I'm going to ask two things of you, okay? The first one is, is easy, too. Okay, he talked about mentioning the 10 folks, okay? So today, take some pictures, take a picture with him and so forth, and, I mean, actually, we, can, we have to go, but make it quick. But um, share that. Share that to as many people that you are impressed with the quality of who Lanny Chen is and what he's going to do for the state. Again, it's not sexy, it's a controller, but it's so vital to all of us. So please share that on all your social media. The second one, listen, He's trying to get more ads out in the next in the last 10 days of this on there. So if you uh, care to contribute on there, that would all, this is in a fundraiser, and that's also a very positive. Yeah, you can the song will to the front if anyone is. So yeah, so so please do that if you can. Uh, it all helps on there. We need to elect somebody like him. And I'll end it with this too. So again, I got to go back to John Wooden, UCLA. So John Wooden, uh, there, my mentor said, you know what? Ability may get you to the top but it's character that's gonna keep you there, okay? That's who he is, okay? He not only has the ability, but he's got the character to be able to do the right thing. So I'm so proud to uh, uh, to be able to support him and say thank you, honey, for thank taking you. on this rest thank of the you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So one, one more, I forgot to mention. The website is chenforcalifornia.com. Check it out. We're doing, you, you can see our ads. We've got English language. We just started some Spanish language advertising as well. I feel very strongly, by the way, that uh, Hispanic Californians, that's going to get me over the top. Because we know that in our Hispanic communities across California, there's just a lot of frustration, right? Because a lot of problems aren't being solved. So check out the ads, share them, get them to your friends, and let's go win it. Absolutely. All right? Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you.